So for today's video, we are continuing, or rather starting, the Phantom Draft. And I did the actual draft in yesterday's video. And today we're going to play the first game. Like I said, I'm going to play all of these games, win or lose, put them up on YouTube. And we're going to go ahead and hit find a match here so that it can start searching. But uh, things are... <laughs> are going to be questionable because if you seen yesterday's video you know i drafted a lot of green late game cards and then decided to just not include green um, my opponent's playing a deck here that is very similar to what i thought i was going to end up playing which was going to be a 2-2-1 split uh, with green being the splash but then we were offered sniper at the end and i did something naughty and i switched now we're going to go ahead and play this here and hope for an arrow did not get it, but, you know, is what I it is. All right, myself. so I'm actually pretty okay with that. Hellbearer is not exactly a high priority. Let's go ahead and get an early kill here and buff up this bristle. I would like some armor, please. And sadly, we drew the short end of the stick here. Their Bristle's going to get the buff, and I lose Phantom Assassin. Bristle is basically the only hero you don't want your Phantom Assassin to run into. And so, not great for me. Um, we're going to grab this cloak. And I don't know how often I'm going to run into one of those, so I'm going to kind of proactively buy that, I think. Okay, if I put Sorla here, there is a 50-50 that I survive. Or I could just pile on on my bristle back lane. Abandon that. Putting it here is just a, a guaranteed death. Um, I don't think that is very good. Looking at our hand, we only have viscous nasal goo in hand to uh, potentially deal with that. So do I want to give that up so soon or do I really want to pile it on here? I'm going to end up in front of a creep for sure if I go here though. And seconds we're going to take the 50-50, I guess. I might regret that. Can't say I'm surprised by this deployment. They are probably thinking the same thing that I was, which is uh, avoid Bristleback. Now this... This uh, instigator here, in theory, I could place here but because this isn't targeting me there's no like minus armor or anything so i think instead what we're going to do is we're just going to say all right magnus let's get some more damage on you save the cloak for now um here we're going to try to save my creep and develop this because it will spread when it damages now. here And we're okay with that. Savagery can never beat discipline. All right, and I think we're gonna take this vandal here and hope for an arrow on this. And I mean, if not, we get extra damage in. Not a big deal. The red mist. Oh, they go with the uh, the heal there. All right. So we're actually still pushing uh, some decent damage on that tower at the moment. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip through that. Alright. I really like Sniper uh, potentially going here. I'm not sure I need more here, so I think this Phantom Assassin comes here. Though I kind of want to pile in, like if they really want to come fight this Bristleback, Part of me wants to let them, but I really also like the idea of having more black heroes spread out. Bit of a tough call. It's not like I have a lot to play in hand, though. I actually think this is going here. I've changed my mind. Let's make them come to Bristle. Wow, and they did. Okay. Well, I misread that. I expected more resistance in this first lane. All right, 
Grazing shot does not a lot for me. Sadly, this actually caught an arrow, and that's not an arrow I wanted. I wanted to hit the tower there. How funny. Grazing shot. Potentially saves a creep and pushes some damage through. Grazing shot just outright takes care of this, so I think that's my best option. Let's just, let's just save Timber Saw. So I don't have to put a cloak there if I don't want to. Prevents him from playing something green as well. If I push this down really quickly, I do also have this town portal scroll so I can come back and maybe contest a little bit better here. Alright, so they're just really trying to push me down with the siege damage in this regard. They're going to take this as well. It still collapses, but they just want the bonus damage because, again, that's what they are going to do. No more tyrants. And then here, again, I caught this arrow, and I'm kind of not a fan of it. I would much rather be hitting that tower for significant damage. They're going to block me you. even You're further here. On the wheel. Might even activate that, yeah. Just to clear me out. I mean, I would if I were them. Alright. So we're coming into coup turn. If I can survive to assassinate, I like my chances quite a bit. Uh, I could take a golden ticket to try to high roll something. But I think we're just going to buy through. I don't mind this either. Gonna need to come contest one of these here soon and try to stall. I think my best chance is probably that third lane. The problem is, is with uh, Farvin coming down, we've got some issues. We're just gonna go ahead and take this. And since this one is uh, the one that is blocked, I think we're just gonna also uh, town portal scroll this. We're not losing any damage on the tower by doing so. makes a sisterhood proud they're getting more damage in I don't think I want to take any actions here so I think we just let this go right. tear it down. vandal is good again not much I can do this this lane is probably lost it might have been worth my time to also get rid of bristle but I wanted to get my black hero over here I think and now I think that I really want to coup this just to slow him down. So I think this ends up being the right play. Lose time of triumph, but the reality is I'm not sure we're going to make it to eight. If I'm just being honest here. I know how to use this. Uh, just what I needed. All right, so we're pushing. Oh, I want these phase boots for sure. Sure. Pushing some pretty significant damage in a couple of areas now. I think Phantom Assassin also comes here because this is likely the most contested lane for me now. This one is going to be a lost cause. And I'm okay with this. Assassinate comes online this turn, which is a pretty big deal. We'll also have one for the following turn. But we want to just go no ahead and beyond my reach. nuke that so that they don't have any opportunity to play anything. Here. Again, this is a really unfortunate arrow, but I don't have any Magical. Let's go ahead and just use one I of these here now, this. just to prevent issues, since I already don't have. And let's get this That's so that gets closer. And here, this is just 
going to be a lost cause for me. They got a couple of items, so they might have something up their sleeve, but we'll let this go. And here we're very, very close to pushing damage. Well, isn't that interesting? So if I wanted to, I could use Assassinate here and then take this tower. But the problem is, is in that Telegraphs and they absolutely just chomp right down on me there. And I would prefer to save it so I can assassinate there and then try to get uh, a coup off and finish that way. So I don't think that ends up being the play. So now it's just a matter of... 15 seconds um, remaining. Let's go with uh, the cloak. I know how to use this. Just so that this stays a little bit healthier. And we'll, we'll take the damage there. Might have actually been worth it to take the draw card there just to see what options opened up. Oh wow, they're going they're going in here. Now that's a really interesting decision for a number of reasons. Basically means I have to just push here, huh? Also means my initiative play uh, might have been really bad that last turn. I was expecting them to not contest this, so I was okay with giving up initiative. And uh, my opponent here bamboozled me. They decided this was the lane they could best defend, huh? Gotcha now! So we're going to take that to save this creep and hopefully clear out some stuff there. We're also going to try to save my sniper. You also have this pick a fight ready, potentially. Safety first. So I have the heal. But again, I do also have this pick a fight if I really just want him to target this, which I'm not necessarily against at this point. And I don't want to target him with his six armor anyway. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Again, try to save my sniper. The enrage is until end of round, which is a bit of a problem. So I can assassinate cross lane there and then try to get a coup off here, but they're going to have the Farvin coming down as well. Hmm. 15 seconds remaining. Let's preemptively just put a goo there, I think. So here we're mostly just worried about Tom Portal Scroll or Blink Dagger. Here they can't do anything, so we are going to take this assassinate, I think, here. Makes the most sense. My victory is at hand. So they'll have Farvin coming down. We need maybe some creep help. We just have to get through five damage. Um, I like the blade here, and I actually like this because if we somehow make this go another round, being able to redeploy, uh, like Bristleback, for example, is a big deal. Uh, they got one creep, we got none, and they're going to have initiative. 
Now we do have uh, the sniper headshot activated ability potentially active for us. And we do have a coup. And now also uh, a whirling death here potentially, so. A lot of options. I will fight by your side. Whoa, that is not what we want, sir. We want this coup. Now they do have the option to put a creep in front of my sniper again, unfortunately, but I think this makes an awful lot of sense here. Because we still have the headshot, so it's gotta be a pretty large creep. they don't have it hey we get a victory so uh all right sniper was worth his weight in gold i don't feel so bad about picking him uh in that last pack at least after this game whether or not that stands true throughout the entire run uh we shall see but uh you know i'm excited and uh hey finally hit level 10 let's just pretend that i did this a long time ago and this isn't happening right now um Again, the big issue is I've been doing a lot of casting, and then I came back and I played the other games. So I'm a little bit behind on my grind. But anyway, we're going to continue this. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.